Hello everyone, you are on the Crypto Seller channel. In this video guide I show you how to set up Polygon RPC node and how to connect it to the OUR Axler network node. For successful installing Polygon RPC node you need a server with following settings. 4 8 core CPU, 16 32 GB RAM and 100 GB of SSD hard drive. However, Polygon testnet network takes more than 270 GB of hardware space. So, Focus on these figures. A server is already in place and for beginning we should update it. For this I will use my private commons which you can find at the link in the description. Just copy and paste this in our terminal. Let's back to the OUR guide. The first point asks you to install updates. We already done this, but just in case we will repeat commands to avoid mistakes in the future. Ok, on the second point we should install Golang. Uh, let's open the link. Ok, let's click on the Linux and we need to check a last update. The last update is 1.18.1. In this case I have the same update in my private guide, so I will use my private guide. In case the version is out of date, you just need to specify the new version that is listed in the official manual. Let's insert these commands one by one. Let's unpack it. Let's insert this command in one line, just copy and paste it. And finally, Go version should be 1181. Ok, let's come back to the guide. And on the second point is asking us to installing a Rabbit MG. Let's copy and paste this one big command. But looks like terminal will ask us to install a Docker. Yes, he's asking about it. Just highlight command and insert it by right mouse button and press enter. Let's input one more time this command and let's check what terminal will show us. Ok, I see that installing process is in progress. In this stage I see that docker container is running and on this stage we can press Ctrl plus C and shut down locks. Let's continue. Now we should install Heimdall. Here we should check the latest release. First, let's check the latest release. Here we see that latest release version is V029 and in GitHub Docs is the same version. The spin that we can download from the guide. Let's do make install. Build successful, it's ok and let's continue. Let's check a version. And finally version is 0 to 9. Ok, now let's install bore. Here is the same procedure as before. We should make sure that the latter list version is v0214. Let's open the release stack and check it. Here version is newer v0216 so we should install new version from github in this case we should do the following step first install commands from the guide let's do a clone
we need join to the border folder and the next command we should edit just copy it and by hand input latest version the latest version is this one that's it now let's input this command Bore has been installed. Let's continue. Let's check Bore version should be 0.2.16. I see that everything is correct. Bore version is 0.2.16. Now we need set up and configure our node. Let's continue by commands. Okay, now we should set up network directories. Just copy and paste commands in the our terminal. Okay, now we are installing service files. In next step we should change something. We should input moniker and seeds. To do this we should open a config toml file. Let's try to open it. Input by keyboard nano, insert the location file and complete it manually. Now we are inside config toml file. Moniker. Uh, let's input our moniker. And I see it polygon test and I will leave it like this without changes. Okay, next let's go down. And right now we should find seats. And input seats in the command line. Let's go down. And here they are, I see seeds, and just copy seeds from the guide and insert it in the our config toml file. And save it by the control plus x plus y and enter. Uh, the same story will be with the uh, heimdall config toml file. And... Uh, this file is uh, located on the same directory. In this case by the hand print nano and insert location of this file and open uh, this file. And according to the guide we should insert in this file a rpc girl link. It can be in Fura or something else. And uh, it should be inserted uh, here. In order to replace this line, we need to set up uh, Infura. To do this, we need to go to the Infura website. You need to create an account and log it inside this website. And after, you should create your own project. I already have my own project for my node. And I show you how to set up own project. 
To do this, you should go to the main page and click on the create new project. Uh, select Ethereum and after that name your project. I will name it Axler Test. Inside your project, click on main it and then change it to the girly. After this, copy a second line and input it in the our config toml file. Save it by commands Ctrl plus X, Y and Enter. At the next step, we should open node board start sash and add the following flag to start parameters. Ok, let's print nado node board start sash. Uh, the file is open it and he is uh, asking to add a new boot node. Copy the line and paste it to the bottom of our file. And after this, save it and exit from the file. Ok, and the next step we should install a snapshot. In order to do that, we need to follow this link and download the two files. And make sure that they are installed and unpack it in the correct folder. Follow the link in the guide and in the new page we will be interested in the two files that we will copy. Go back to the guide and copy the first line which we need to pass into our terminal. Now we have to go back to the link, we open it and copy the last line of Heimdall, then replace it on old line in terminal. By this manipulation we can download the latest snapshot. Ok, just uh, delete it. Leave it widget. And insert new link which we copied in the guide and press enter. Start downloading the snapshot and unpacking the files. After 10 minutes Heimdall was downloaded and unpacked and the same things we should to do with the bore. Uh, just copy the second link and the input in our terminal. Right now we should do the same thing like in first time, just open our link. And here we are interested in the link which is upper from the last line, just copy it and replace it in our terminal. Delete the old link until widget and after that replace it by the new one and press enter. Downloading and unpacking of the board snapshot will take about one hour. It is because uh, board take place around 290 of GB. Ok, board has been downloaded and unpacked. Now let's come back on the guide and see what we need to do. Ok, right now we should start him the system the file. Um, let's start it and after that we should uh, sync our Heimdall. Uh, let's open a system the status and see how it work. Looks like it's work correctly. Let's open logs and see how it's looking inside. Inside the logs, the errors which you are seeing here, it's normal. After 5-10 minutes, uh, Heimdall will start it normally and you will see normal logs. When inside the logs you will see that lines start running, this means that Heimdall starts syncing. And when the lines will stop running, this means that Heimdall already synced. And please note that uh, BOR you can start only after full synchronization of the Heimdall. Otherwise it will broke all or node installation. 
and uh, right now you can see that Heimdall starts sinking and for full synchronization it will take around some hours. After 5 or 6 hours you can see that uh, our Heimdall was fully synced and you can see the notable speed of our logs. Okay, right now we can back to the our guide and uh, start the bore synchronization process. Okay, we can start uh, the bore by this command and after that we need to check uh, status. Copy, pass inside the terminal and looks like it's working. Okay, come back to the guide and I think we need to check what is going on in our logs. And looks like inside the logs they are working. Okay, uh, let's come back and see what we need to do in the next step. Now we need to wait until the board is fully synchronized. To check the synchronization status you need to copy this command and paste it into the terminal. You will have an output. In my case the output shows that my node is out of sync. When the node is synchronized you will have a false output as indicated in the guide. After your node is sync you will need to copy this line and edit it. We need to specify our IP address. The port is the same as specified in the guide. After that you need to go through the manual in overview. Inside overview we need to go down and find the instruction that indicate how to configure RPC. To do this we need to open config toml, find these lines inside and edit the polygon line. Right now we need to open a config toml. To do this uh, we should input the following command. It is nano slash axelar config and uh, config toml. After that uh, we should scroll to the bottom and find the interested lines which we need to edit. In Polygon RPC address we should insert our IP address, just copy and paste it with our port. And after that uh, the false we should change to the true. Ok, now we can save it, just Ctrl X Y enter. And right now we need to restart our Tofund and Wild services. The same thing we should to do with wild service and after that we should check our logs in journal. We see that uh, there was a reboot and we are interested in the inscription where it says that successful connected to the EVM bridge for the chain polygon module vault. This means that your polygon network is recognized and you have joined it to the network. After this we should register our polygon RPC node. For registration we need this command but we should a little bit edit it. Chain ID will be Axelar Testnet Lisbon 3. From broadcaster here is correct. Here we need to delete this one. Ok, remain on the polygon. This is our final command and just press enter and insert your password. And finally, if you see this output, this means that you did everything correct and you successfully connected your Polygon RPC node to the, your Axelar network node. I hope the video was helpful and you successfully connected your Polygon to your Axelar network node.